Hello, this is David Wormsey. I'm finally back after a few weeks away with the second part of my series looking at how I'm trying to build a better website building service with Beaver Builder and Beaver Thema when it comes out. Now, in the first video, I was looking at my overall process of the new business that I'm going to be setting up over the course of this year. And I was looking at the process of that, how we were trying to attract customers in through a free video course. And the hope would be that they would then want to work with us on a two day web build where we would teach them also how to use a page builder. And finally, that would lead them hopefully to go in on our care and hosting plan, which is really where the money would be in it for us, because this is a kind of scalable business where we have a recurring income. So that's really what I was talking about in the first one. And what I said is I would follow this up by talking about some of the practical stuff about how I was setting up my WordPress blueprint, which is the install of WordPress where I've got all of the plugins that I'm likely to use already configured with some pages already set up. And I thought I'd go into more detail about that. And I kind of got a bit stuck. I wasn't sure the value of the first video, although it went down reasonably well. And I wasn't sure if I was just going to get even worse as I went on with this. And to be honest, this particular one is a bit of a filler. It really didn't need a video for it because I, I've already done the blog post on it, which covers it. But what I wanted to talk about before I moved on to the other plugins, which I hope to do in a few days actually I'm going to speed things up is the add-on packs that come with Beaver Builder so what I'm talking about here is the ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder and also power pack by Beaver add-ons now both of these packs came out in the summer of last year 2016 and no one could be more excited about them than me they both came out about the same time similar offering both of them are obviously competitors and and friends of each other as well as friends of me now as well but uh, I'll just share something which I remembered with doing this post which I kind of almost forgotten about in the first rush of excitement is a, a classic picture that was taken of B when we just arrived two minutes really after arriving in Koh Samoy on a holiday in Thailand with my wife on her birthday which was July the 10th when this came out and here's me opening up the laptop straight away because the ultimate add-ons for a beaver builder had just come out and my wife caught the moment and uh, yeah she didn't get a present but I bought one for myself and uh, I don't know how blessed I am because she's still married to me and we're still fairly happy but anyway I thought I'd just share that with you but yeah uh, as I've written in the post here I always had a dilemma with these new plugins something that's new I have to be extremely cautious using WordPress for now 10 years has taught me that you know I, I value slow growth and stability particularly when thinking about the business I'm setting up which is going to rely on us looking after sites so any dodgy update for us is going to bite into our time and and you know lower our profits so I actually wrote an article last year right back in September so when these power when these packs were both growing I wrote an article called uh, a clickbait one sorry about this called what's the best add-ons for Beaver Builder and of course if you know me I didn't answer that at all and I still could not answer which is the best um, things change over time I, I I favor one over another as I did do at different points but they're still changing but my concern here I expressed it here I was concerned about whether there'd be plug-in load that would increase you know the server space that would use all important things and ultimately Ultimately, I was thinking about the fact that, you know, with this business, I'm trying to work on it. So I want to train people up to do my role. So if I'm going to do that, we need the, the software that they're going to be using to be as stable as possible. So you can train somebody up without having to constantly have to reteach. And also from a client perspective and things were changing. So my conclusion really for myself was that I'd be using them for certain projects, but I wouldn't be using them for our main business. Now, I've changed on this and I am going to be using them in our blueprint install um, and I thought I ought to mention this I have done a few updates on here but it was quite a popular post here so I thought I should just update on that and let you know what's happening there so here was the sort of real dilemma about how to use them because there was some great stuff coming out here they both were creating templates and some really attractive ones i mean i particularly like what suits me is the new ones if you haven't seen them by the ultimate add-ons for 
Beaver Builder. They they did a sort of marathon to celebrate, I think, eight years in business where they were churning out, I think, about three a day for a whole month. And these are really um, focused on conversion and they really, you know, lay out where you should put a certain type of title. Really handy for that kind of stuff and perfect in a way uh, for the business we're setting up a load of uh, conversion ready templates and that 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 kind of look beautiful but we decided that it, it creates a dependency on these plugins which we didn't want and we wanted people to learn if we were going to teach them to do our jobs we wanted them to learn beaver builder first and all of these templates for both of them are built on their own modules in there rather than the uh, beaver builder ones so we decided that we couldn't use the templates there only for inspiration and to so clients although i'll just show you one other thing i have started to include them in this demo site which i've set up so when new customers will come in and go on the course i'm hoping that to send them to this demo so they can see what a page builder's like and what it works with and 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 how it works rather and here I'd, I'd already set up some of my own templates here, but now I've just been able to increase those by just adding in a few of these, um, you can see these U UABB ones here. So someone can go and test that out. And even though it's their modules, I don't think anybody's gonna to be too concerned about them not being exactly the same when we work with them and, and train the client themselves. So it's really, really been handy for that to have these templates. But in terms of the actual business, we're not going to be using those and concentrate on the modules. And I think that just makes it easier. I, I realize that there are other conversations out there about which, do you use if you, you potentially sort of 40 plus modules for each, turn them all on, that can get really confusing. And if you're using templates, which you're using various modules from either side, that becomes difficult as well. So what we're gonna do is just really turn on both of these packs as we need them. So we'll start with the, the blueprint, we'll have them deactivated, but already configured for standard modules that we're likely to use. Uh, there is a slight difference between ultimate add-ons for beaver builder and power pack and it's a recent change that probably many people didn't spot um, was that with uabb it is more modulized so it will if you turn off a module it literally takes up no resources which is perfect for us at the moment because you know that's what kind of what we want when we're just dealing with modules it does have a downside of course you have to be careful if you turn off a uabb module um any template you're using with it will also be turned off and you'll lose that which doesn't happen with beaver builder itself if you effectively turn off a module it still is actually using up a plugin load. It's a minor one, of course, but it still is there. And the same with PowerPack, they leave them on. So if you turn off the modules effectively, you're hiding them and they will still work on your templates on your site. So just something to be aware of when you do that. But at the moment, UABB for the lightness suits us from that from that angle because it's, it's modulized on that. But here's really what we're doing. And you can read this for yourself. I've copied and pasted over from my blueprint some links here to the common modules that we might use from each so you know, there's a good chance i might need a countdown module for scarcity it's got an evergreen option on there or before and after reveals you know if we want some after. there's often cases where you might want to do that my brother's a gardener he likes to show a a, a picture of uh, the scene before he did his gardening on it and and after and that kind of stuff so that could be a popular one that we might turn on uabb for and there's other things like restaurants if we're working on that i might get that from power pack or the dot navigation or something if i want single pages to navigate through those that kind of stuff and some of these are overlapped so there's links to them because they, they've got effectively the same kind of modules on both sides and it would depend which one we used say something like content grid would depend on which one we'd already turned on here but that's the way to deal with it and I've incorporated this in to our starter or blueprint install here so this is still yet to change a lot of work to be done on it but uh, what I do with this I already put the resources into the the actual install itself so they're ready and handy so I, I've got a, a thing called sign resources here where I've already incorporated the links 
So we can just look up those individual modules just to remember whether they're ones we want to install and how they look before. So that just brings me on a little bit, just updates where I am with Ultimate Add-ons and Power Pack, how I am using them, but they're not the default. It, there's another advantage as well to not putting them as the default in here. Should somebody be leaving our care plan or even if they choose not to come on our care plan, um, we need to give them a list of the software that they all need to buy. So by turning this off, we at least we can say to somebody, if they're not coming on our care plan, you know, we're turning this one on and this is an extra software cost if we get into that situation at all. So it just keeps things a little bit more simple. So that's my thoughts on that. I hope to see you in a few days here when I'll talk about all the other plugins uh, that we're using. And there's quite a lot. There's about 30 plus of them. But anyway, that's me. I'll talk to you soon. So bye-bye.